I think this year's golf season is over. Nintendo. <laughs> Face cam! Yeah, since I'm playing another golf game, I figured it was fitting. Because you just never know what's going to happen in the golf games, and I'd like to get those reactions. So, yep. Yep, yep. This is the intro of a sequel to a game that I already played before on my channel. It takes place in the same type areas, but they've been all updated, so it's like a brand new game. And it takes place in the future, so it's, it's like everything's grown up and players have matured and maybe gained more drive distance. <laughs> but yes, as you see from the title, it is a walkthrough of Mario Golf Advance Tour. And since it's winter, I might as well get my golf fix from somewhere, right? Right? Well, so here we are. <laughs> Mario Golf Advance Tour. For the Game Boy Advance, of course. And we gotta create a character. Who should we create a character as? Well, I don't know why we need an extra guy here to do the character choice choosing, but uh, 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 it worked for me in Pokemon Ranger, so girl it is. <laughs> um, yeah, that seems good to me. Seems good to me. My name is Ella. Well, it's actually PK Gam, but from for the, for the game, it's Ella, <laughs> and the other kid's name is Neil. But yeah, I'm, I'm PK Gam, and I'll be commentating this bad boy of a walkthrough. It is going to be an epic golf adventure. Uh, those, a golf adventure doesn't usually, you know, come up in the same sentence, but it works in this game, I assure you. <laughs> mm, yes, it is. It's like a castle. A castle in the sky with those... No, I think that's water, never mind. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What the heck was going on there? Did I, did I miss something there? Okay, they were doing a race. I know they were doing a race. <laughs> but who won? It looked pretty close there. But it looks like that someone there thought they were the winner, but it was so tight. We kind of could use a, like a photo or something for the finish. You know, whatever, you know, whatever that's called. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Mm, yeah, that could be could be. It makes sense. I mean, that clubhouse is something else. <laughs> yeah, I... Probably... Probably a tie. <laughs> alas, alas, you're gonna have to take me on in golf to break the tiebreaker, you know? You know? <laughs> anyway... Just look at that place. It's spectacular. Or out of a video game, you know, that, that works too. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we've seen a, a bunch of castles in video games by now, like, say, Peach's Castle and whatnot. See, they didn't mention castles as well. <laughs> anyway? <sighs> the voice. That picture. Can it be? It is. The legend. The legend. They're called staff bags, if I'm not mistaken, but anyway. <laughs> Unless maybe they're only called staff bags on tour or something like that. I don't want to say his name just yet, because he hasn't been properly introduced like the other characters have been. But see there, see right there, that's that's one of the hints of that the choruses have been updated. Because, you know, the trees have gotten bigger and, and whatnot, but yup, yup, yup. Oh yeah, that's the first course of the first course that that character has played on. So has the other three characters that we knew from the other game, and yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, this course is kind of a legend, let's just put it that way. <laughs> but we, we still, yeah, well, I don't know, I, I can't really blame Neil there, I mean... I, I want to golf too. <laughs> and, well... You might notice that there's a couple of similarities to certain other RPG games here, namely the Golden Sun games. Yeah, that's, the whole overworld and dialogue style takes a lot of cues from the Golden Sun games, so you're going to see a lot of that sort of thing in the game as well as you go along. 
But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get into that sort of stuff as we go, I guess. Well, actually, a lot of, your, a lot of you're seeing right now, actually. <laughs> but anyway, I do intend on being the best golfer this world has ever seen. So, let's go in there. Finally! By the way, this door does not lead to... Yeah, this uh, this room right here. You, you'll notice if we leave this room during the black screen tra transition, it's not accurate. <laughs> they just kind of cut ahead on me there. So yeah, that's, that's pro there. And so that guy there, he's been injured. But he's kind of back in the game. And yep, his name is Kid. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad. My character's injured and he got knocked out of the race and <sighs> Okay, I'm just gonna gotta compose myself here. Oh, poor kid. Poor kid. He once had like a 350 yard drive and now it's down to like 270 or something like that. <laughs> so I don't remember what he what he could have had potential for in the original game, but yep. Yep. Still, it's not about drive distance, though. It's more about the accuracy. Although drive distance does really help, though. <laughs> Just to make stuff in two and whatnot. <laughs> so, yeah. Definitely not. No, no giving up, no matter how injured you are. Just gotta work on your game, and you can shoot under par. I was a poet and knew it. <laughs> By the way, that was a little Mario sound there, if you didn't realize that. You don't really see all that many Mario characters up until the very end of the game, though, even though it's called Mario Golf, but... Details. <laughs> mm, yup, yup, yup. Yup, yup, yup. I really gotta make sure that I stay centered in the camera. I'm, like, going all over the place here. <laughs> As I move around. Anyway. Well. Uh, you, you can't really live it if someone else is living it for you, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, apparently Kid has been our teachers, and we will now be competing, and well, let's just put it this way, I'm gonna demolish the early game. <laughs> like, no matter what my drive distance is, I am going to utterly destroy it. And yes, I do have to get used to the lag of the screen and whatnot, but still, Still, it's the thing of that I have enough skill to get under par on the early game courses, and yeah, <laughs> just put it that way. And there are our, our, our intros, those two words sound about the same, so I got tongue-tied in the twister, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't, uh, yeah, why can't Kid continue to teach me, well... Oh? Oh? Does this mean what I think it means? <laughs> Could it be? He does! He's getting back to go! Oh, kid! Oh, kid! <sighs> oh, now that I think about it, I mentioned that his skin color changed in this game, like in the sequel, but... Now that I think about it, since he's been out of golf for a while, it makes sense that he would lo that he would lose his tan. Because, you know, he hasn't been outside golfing and, and whatnot. So, yeah, I, I didn't really think about that before. Hmm. That's pretty clever, actually. <laughs> but, kid, I don't, I don't think he uh, lost it, let's put it that way. I mean, that was the character that I played as before, so, uh, you know, it's... it's kind of infuse the power of PK Gam in the character. <laughs> and there's a thing called doubles golf in this game as well, so that's a thing that we'll be doing too. That'll be... That'll be pretty fun. Yep, yep. What? 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 Uh, what? what uh, but I, did, I didn't come here with her. I mean, I didn't... I, excuse, I mean, he, she didn't come... I mean, uh, you get what I'm saying here. <laughs> I mean... I, I didn't come there with him, excuse me. I'm, I'm used to playing as the guy character, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, 
I think I'm pretty sure everything will be all right. Hmm. Yeah, as, as long as I can get golfing, that will be nice. So can I get golfing already? This has been a longish intro here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, it sounds like a pretty prestigious place, especially since there's a castle here and whatnot. <laughs> I mean, it's a clubhouse. Never mind, never mind. It's like the whole windmill lighthouse thing. <laughs> I'll basically immediately go to the tournament, because, well, I'm just going to demolish the tournament. Yes. <laughs> And it's not just being a Marion Club golfer, there's other clubs to take on as well, so... Yup, yup, yup! A lot of golfing to be done here. And uh, due to the whole doubles matches as well, there's also other mechanics to get used to as well, which are going to be pretty interesting. But yup, yup, yup! I will most certainly be practicing like a madman, just like I do in the backyard. <laughs> and... We're in control! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited to finally be moving around! <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of kind of interesting there. <laughs> Even though I kind of knew it was going to happen, considering, you know, the main characters and stuff and stuff and stuff. Yep, yep, yep. And there's all sorts of stuff hidden around the, the map and stuff like that. By the way, you can press the B button to run around. And, yeah, kid, as I said, it's pretty legendary. Pretty legendary. Ooh. 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 Of course, Arctic Architects. The legend. Oh, number two, Mario. But he, he kind of fell to kid. <laughs> uh, anything? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this thing on the floor is, though. It just it looks kind of like a heating pad or something like that. Oh, come on! You gotta have time for golf despite being the manager of a golf course. You gotta have off days, right? Right, right? And these characters will uh, talk here both at the same... Well, both towards each other like that, so I don't have to talk to them both at like that. And it's the opposite um, when it comes to left-handers. Like, draw is right to left. Um for a right-hander, but it's left-to-right for a left-hander, and vice versa for a fade. So, yeah, it's it, it's just, you know, I'm kind of used to being a right-hander, so that's partly why I chose being a uh, uh, right-hander as well, just because it, it just, just kind of infused within my instincts, I guess you could say, of a golfer. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, ooh, uh, uh, I'll say no, just in case. <laughs> But yeah, that is true, you got to be a good putter, but then again, the whole game is pretty important to master overall. So yeah, I'm just kind of running through all these sorts of tips here before I get to the actual game, because there's still still a bunch of stuff that we'll see here, and, and the dialogue will change as the game goes and stuff like that, so... Oh, really now, the golfing greats, could this be the room? of golfing greats. Oh, this is sounding really familiar, isn't it? Look at this, look at this! Yep, the champs. The legends, in their own rights. <laughs> There's a lot of legends going on around here, let me tell you. So that, yeah, that's, that's Putz. Remember her? She's Grace? Well, I mean, you might not know these peeps here from the first game, but, uh, yeah, they are a thing, and there is... Genius. Oh, Gene, I hope he, he kind of lost his orneriness, if I guess you could call it. <laughs> I should say, uh, uh, not, not sarcasm, or... Uh, not, no, I don't know. What, uh, yeah, he, he's full of himself, let's put it that way. <laughs> I guess that's the best way of putting it. Yeah, I got that, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> uh, well, I could. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to beat them on my first run and what the- Hey, how's it going there? I am PK- I mean Ella. <laughs> uh, no, well, um, ma? Mm, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to- uh, mm, uh, mm, eh, Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see what you have to say. Well, hey, hey, no, no, no. You- Oh, ah. Uh,
No, you still got a big head. Fine, fine, I'm out of here. So yeah, we can't can't play them or anything like that for now. But we will in the future. <laughs> anyway, let's take a peek see out here. Oh, we're actually outside. Look at that. You can see a whole view of the lands. It is pretty awesome sauce. And I'll also just pop down over to here to this door. This is another portion of the clubhouse here. You see there's a locker room there, and this is where I popped through before. Yep, yep, yep. So now we're gonna flip-flop through here. Because why not? Why not? Memorial Lounge. Oh, I definitely will challenge all of them. So yeah, we don't have any sort of trophies or anything like that. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's see here. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. You can see the best of the best right here if you would like to. And uh, you can notice, look at that, look at that. that you know, those those are not my scores, actually. I've, I've shot a whole lot better. <laughs> I just put it that way, even though it's kid. But yep, yep. Anyway, one more here to see the Dunes Club. Just want to get all this stuff out of the way. I'll probably end up like putting a skip or something like, I don't know, in the description so that you can skip to the golf match. I should say the golf game. Uh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Uh, oh, double talking, huh? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know about that, but he just sounds like a little bitter. <laughs> if you ask me, uh, I'll say yes. <laughs> even though I'm pretty good at this game, even though you haven't seen any of it, because I haven't really been able to get to it, I'm just kind of exhausting myself with dialogue here. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's what I was saying, it takes more than just the drive distance, and since I've only got uh, 100, I mean, a 200 yard drive distance, I'm gonna have to deal with stuff that's under 100, um, mainly for my scoring, but I, I'll i be able to pull it off, don't you worry. And I can, I can check some, <laughs> uh, I can check certain stuff here as well. And, huh, is, is this... could be? It might be Mario's Locker. <laughs> could it be what's in this one? Uh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, uh oh. We, be we better leave that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, I guess he found out that Toadsworth's mustache is not exactly genuine. <laughs> so these seem to be the Mario Cruz locker rooms for the most... It seems, I don't know what the heck's going on in there. Those, those lockers are kind of weird if you ask me. <laughs> mm, nothing there. Well, that's a uh, Pokey's wooden block game. Hmm, could that be from. Oh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought we could have skipped ahead in the game. <laughs> mm, yeah, I know that. We've got to replace the divots. Though, did I, you can hit out of a divot okay, you just gotta play it a little back in your stance. Although it's not as easy to hit off it if you don't have the the fluffies, fluffy grass and whatnot. Eh, it looks like we're just getting a bunch of repeating dialogue here, so... Oh, no, 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 not going to explode. No, we are not. Anyway, <laughs> um, down back through here, yes I am. See, is this, see, there's a little little dialogue there going on, it's kind of a... See, it's telling me I can't go through there. <laughs> so up I go through this way. Oh, there. Aha! How's it going? <laughs> Takes a while for this game to get going, but... Uh, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, also, yeah. <laughs> mm, oh ho! Is that so? Well... Mm, uh, mm, uh, uh, uh. No. Okay, maybe I would. <laughs> Shouldn't we be getting to the golfing though? Eventually, I think maybe. I'd like to get a you know one round in and and stuff like that. So, hey, how's it going, you two? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's why I avoided that door until now because it it just kind of kind of pulls us along here. <laughs> It says, should we get going? Yeah, it's kind of kind of hinted that we should. And Caddy Master's booth, that's how you sign up 
Four round for tournaments or practice rounds. I, I don't know why you would ever pick a practice round. In all honesty, I would always go for the tourneys. Like, I, I just don't get why they have the practices when you can get more experience and stuff like that from the tourneys and whatnot. So yeah, that's the way to the course. I don't know why there's someone blocking the course. That's not like how it is at actual golf courses, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and... Mm, mm. So this is kind of like a training area. We'll, we'll see some of that later on. It's like... The training areas are like the side quests of the Mario Golf RPG games of sorts. And but we're not we're not going there. Ooh, there's a lot of pros going on here. But yeah, we're not going there just yet. We'll go there a little bit later on after we beat the tourney. Got it? Good. <laughs> Is it sunglasses? Not everyone wears the sunglasses. <laughs> I mean, did you see those four club champs that were very rude to me back at that other room? One's got glasses, one doesn't have glasses, one is bulky, and the other one doesn't have glasses, yep. <laughs> so these are lodges? Yeah, that does sound pretty good. Golfing every day? Uh, what? What do you mean by that? That sounds like a challenge to me. Oh, well, I guess. But even practicing hard is pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, did you see me play DDR before? Of course you've seen me play DDR before. Okay, maybe you haven't, but still. I play hard. And it's fun. <laughs> Alright, so this is our room right over here. And... You're gonna hear that sound a lot when you save your game and whatnot. And this is... Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, feels good. Feels good. Oh, mm -hmm. Ah, just like my actual in real life golf bag. <laughs> Well, of course they're Ellis clothes. Of course, who would they be? <laughs> I'm gonna play singles today, so. But yeah, you can switch between the mode of play by coming here, talking to Neil, and switching the doubles or whatnot. So yeah. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> How's it going? I am absolutely raring to go here too. Uh, yeah, the Lynx course is quite a course. That that's probably one of the toughest courses in the game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that 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 one is definitely the primo course of doom. There is ho oh, <laughs> the heath, all oh, of the heath. <laughs> anyway. Outside here is the overworld, which I'm not going to explore right now. I'm going to go back down through here and get to chatting. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. No, not again with the sunglasses. That is ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, over here at the... Ah, oh, come on. You just... Mm, why would you even ask me that then? <laughs> I suppose you're redirecting me to the ones that can do so. But yeah, oh, really, 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 oh, well, I'll say no. <laughs> so yeah, if I, if I place third or better and I'm going to win this tournament, I get to go to the Palms tourney. Uh, yeah, eventually. But alas, alas, we can't do so just that everything is just, that everything's, I mean, everyone's so picky about who they face. It's crazy. I would play anyone in real life, even though I'd probably get beat by the ones on the PGA Tour. Okay, I know I would get beats by the ones on the PGA Tour. <laughs> Dang it, everyone is just... Ah, okay, we finally got some stuff here. So yeah, yeah on, on the glossary here, you can go through pages upon pages of all sorts of stuff and stuff and stuff, like golf terms and yeah, but that's a lot of stuff to go through and I would recommend you go through that on your own time because I'm probably going to be using a lot of those terms as I go Anyway, so yeah, these are, you can get your information on experience points over there. You can also do so on the um, character screen, the pause menu. But yeah, whatever, whatever. I'm in. I'm time for a tournament. Yes, <laughs> it's been like 23 minutes or so, and it's time to tournament. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now. I don't, I think I said this earlier, but I, I don't even remember, it's been a while since I think I talked about it. But, you know, display lag on the screen, I'm gonna have to get kind of used to it. 
So I, it'll take me a little, like a couple of holes to get the feel of it. I already did some playing just to get the, the feel of it a little bit. But, you know, it's still a thing that I'm gonna have to get used to. But anyway, it's on! So you start out automatically, and notice that this is like the carry distance, and then it rolls out to 200, but it doesn't always roll out to 200, depending on the wind slope and stuff like that. So, yeah, what's with this twitchiness going on there? Well, it should play just fine. <laughs> it might just be an emulator thing that I need to tweak as I go. I don't know, I didn't really notice it before, but anyway. Uh, I would recommend that you do the manual swing rather than the auto swing. Like the auto swing is just pressing A and then hitting A at there. Like I was, I was a little early there, anticipating the lag, but that's okay. But you see the auto made that cursor go all twitchy, twitchy on the the right side there, and yeah, it just kind of kind of makes it go all funky there, and it just doesn't quite equal the accuracy that you'll need for harder stuff. So I recommend going A, B, and then hitting that thing on the right side manually. So A, B, A. And see, I'm still getting used to it, but still, still. <laughs> I would have had more distance there. I could have made the green in two on, you know, on my initial drive, but that is okay. Anyway, approach shots, and you get it near the green, you'll be able to see that you get a little bit closer. And from here, you're probably going to want to adjust with the L and R buttons here, so you get an idea of your landing point. And another thing about this sort of manual mode is that you have the power to change your spin and whatnot. So I'm going to show you a little backspin here by moving my cursor about there and letting my ball go a little bit past the hole and backspin to take it back in place. So you go A, B, B, B so for backspin. And if you do B, A, you'll get super backspin. See, I didn't get enough power there, so I kind of ended up far away, but whatever, whatever, it's in a good position on the green. Uh, if you want to do topspin, you go AA, or super topspin is AB. Anyway, let's do my putts. There's no break here, so I don't have to move the cursor or anything like that. So I'll just make that putt for par, and move on there. Oh, I'm sure I'll get some birdies along the way, don't worry. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna move. Ah, poopers, I am really not used to the timing on this screen. <laughs> that is okay, though. All will be well. And by the way, before your shots, you may also hit a power shot by pressing the B button, thusly, which might come in handy for uh, certain stuff. Well, I got I got trees in my way right now, so I'm, uh, I don't think I'm gonna make the green, but I would have had a much better chance at doing so if I would have uh, done so. And why did I go for auto there? I don't know. I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so frazzled from all the dialogue that, I don't know, I'm kind of out of it. <laughs> and uh, when you're in rough or something, it doesn't seem to affect your shot that much, but it does enough. Uh, it, it, it just basically knocks down your cursor's distance and whatnot. And that, yeah, I'm just not getting the right amount of power on my shots, that's why I'm so far away from the dang targets that I'm trying to hit. <laughs> That's a little too hard, but it. Oh, no, no, I'm gonna bogey. Well, well, that's okay. <laughs> that's fine, no biggie. I'll be able to get many birdies as I go along the way. <laughs> I believe that the. You only have to finish even par to beat the tournament anyway, so it doesn't matter all that much. I'm gonna go up to a three wood here and. Uh, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good there. Why am I, mm, I did the auto thing. I think I'm too used to the Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color. But yeah, I'm not making greens and regulation, so I'm always scrambling for par. Yeah, greens and regulation is a fancy way of saying that you aren't on the green in two under par. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try and do better on this. Ah, dang it, I am so off on my timing. <laughs> And timing is key here, and I'm not even on the green, technically. I don't think I have to move the putter, like the angle here. I think I should just be able to go a little bit past the mark there, and yeah, that's what I thought. Because if I go putt hard, and it'll hit the pin and go right through the break, and yeah. Alright. Par 5, this looks like it could be a birdie hole for me, finally. Alright, so let's feel out that time. <laughs> if you don't get the timing close enough to the notches, you lose a power. Uh, a little power to your swing meter there. Like you see, it went down from 6 to 5 at the bottom left corner there. So, conserve your powers if you can. I'm just gonna keep using those. I really want to get a birdie somewhere around here. There we go. If you get that nice shot, you'll be able to save your power. I'm See, I'm getting the hang 
of my shooting there, so it's it's coming along. It just takes a little bit of practice to get used to the lag. Uh, I like. I think I, I think I'd prefer to drop it down like right about there, and, and I hit that little short, so I'm gonna let it run out rather than use backspin. Don't go in the bunker. I want it to run. Oh, well, well, that worked out, I guess. Well, I'm hmm, I'm near the green in regulation. Uh, it, it, for putting, you can tell whether it's moving just by the arrows, but it's just it, a lot of it is feel. And I think that's gonna be okay. Let's see how it goes. It's a little downhill. Ah, I'm short. That was a little bit too, too off on my notch. Oh, wait, wait, wait what am I doing? <sighs> you know, I said I was gonna win the tournament, but man, I am not playing like a winner right now. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I noticed that my press button press didn't work out all that well, so I kind of, kind of had some flubbery there. While I was, yeah. <laughs> So it, it was kind of weird how I kind of reacted to that. I should have just let the cursor go all the way back to the start, which would have reset the thing. And yeah. Anyway, I want I want to be on in regulation here, and I will be on in regulation eventually. Dang it! <laughs> this is gonna be short again. Uh, well, maybe not. Uh, oh no, no, this is looking good actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go to middle pot, so I press the B button to switch between it. And let's see here. Um, that jittery over like type screen is kind of weird looking. I really got to see if I can adjust that in the in settings or something like that. But it doesn't. You don't really notice it when you're moving, and, I, and I'm always moving when I'm shooting. So that's so I guess that's the thing is that I didn't really notice it before in my practice because I'm always on the move like this and it looks normal when I'm doing it like this so it's only when you're like standing in place I guess anyway uh, oh that's much much better <laughs> see I'm focusing much much better on my timing here maybe I should be using topspin on the drives too that could help me with my distance and by the way best drives they're kind of are a thing that you get for the longest distance in the fairway. Like if you're out in the rough, it doesn't count for whatever reason. I, I think it should count in all honesty, but anyway, I put some backspin on that and oh, look at that, look at that. Alright, I think this is looking like a birdie. Oh yeah! See what happens when I get the hang of things. <laughs> Alright, hole seven. Yeah, I'm gonna go power it up. Uh, oh, shoot. And you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be powering it up while I'm getting used to the timing of stuff, but I just see par five and I go, man, I wanna get on that green in regulation. <laughs> and normally in real life, hitting a driver off the deck is probably not that good of an idea because it's really hard to do. But it is possible to do, you know, a one wood is a driver, and yeah. Uh, anyway, let's see here. I just want to land in front of the hole, if at all possible, because that will put me on a flat surface and I won't have to move the cursor, which essentially guarantees that I'll make the putt. So there we go, and here we go, a little bit past the mark, and we're in for birdie. Look at that! <laughs> Don't worry about Neil there, we'll we'll catch up to him. Oh geez, I gotta use a three wood to get on the green. Oh man, or well, at least a four wood, but mm, mm. I could try driver and then alter the impact area at the bottom right corner. See if I hold the B button and press down like that, I can get a little more height to my shot, which will help for uphill stuff, as well as stopping the ball quicker. But I don't use it all the time because I kind of like the lower trajectory and then backspin type shot. But anyway, I'll try it here. Um, that looks like it'll be pretty good. Let's see how it turns out though. Um, also, if, it, if you didn't realize, you got to be watching the wind at the upper right corner of the screen as well. But it's not very windy on these early tournaments. <laughs> so I'm not really, not really that worried about it. About the wind coming after me or anything like that. Oh, rain! Well, that's something that could actually mess with me a little bit. It'll lower my distance. Uh, but we'll see how things go. Ah! Aha! Oh, man. 
I just thought that, that this is a long hole, so I thought I would power through it, plus the rain. Oh, don't put me in the bunker. Don't put me in the bunker. Okay. That is acceptable. Uh, fairway wood to the green. That looks pretty good. Can I make it in two? Probably. It looks good. I put top soon because I know I'm going to be shorter than I want it to be. Oh, no, no, I'm going off the back. Oh, poopers. I should have just let it go normally. Uh, I don't know how close I am to the fringe, so I'm not going to putt this. It's kind of hard to tell, so yeah, no putting for me. I'm just going to alter it a little bit to the right of the hole because the wind is pushing me. Well, it's to the left on this angle, but yeah. Anyway, eh, really quick presses and let's ship in. <laughs> I knew I was going to get a couple of those somewhere in the round because I'm pretty decent at doing that in this game on a consistent rate. All right, hole number 10. I really should stop using power shots, so I'm not going to this hole, especially since it's a shorter hole too, so. Just gonna be focused on conserving my shot potential here. Alright, here we go. That looks good right there, because it's gonna see what I don't know if you noticed what I did there. I'm gonna bounce the ball off that slope onto the flatter portion of the slope in front of the hole, and I'm, I plan on back spinning it so it stays in control. Got it? Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, this is golf we're talking about here, so. What your plan is, and how the shot ends up being, is not not always the same result. That that right there is pretty good. I'll have to adjust it a little bit over for the break. And yeah, that's good right there. And then I hit it in. There we go. <laughs> now I'm a birdie machine. Look at that scorecard. By the way, those uh, bees underneath there are birdie badges. You can also get eagle badges and stuff like that, but... Um, basically, whenever you get anything under power, you get a badge for it. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Uh, power 5, again, this really makes me tempted to use the power shot. And that shaky screen is very jarring. It's very... definitely is something that I've got to alter. <laughs> I should have playtested the game more, but that is okay. Oh shoot, I didn't want to be on the slopey slope. Well, that's okay, I guess. Eh. See, the thing about being on a slopey slope is that the, the extra height you get lowers your distance. And, yeah, you don't really want to land on that. I mean, if you're on a down slope, you'll also, you'll also end up getting a lower trajectory. So, yeah, like if the, the slope is forward or something like that. I hit that lower, I mean, hit, I hit that with less power than I wanted, so I'm going to let it run out rather than backspin it. Ooh, that's not bad. In fact, I don't think I need to move the cursor at all from that angle. Now, remember in the rain, you gotta putt with harder power than you uh, would normally, so I'm gonna go up to all the way there, and look at that! Perfect! Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm running away with the tournament now that I've got the hang of it. Uh, that looks good. I'll just let it run to the hole with a little topspin, especially since I hit, didn't hit that as hard as I wanted to, because I'm still working on my timing. But I am adjusting for it, just sort of like improvisation. Uh, this looks like I don't have to move the cursor again, and since it's not raining, I'll just go a little bit above it because it's a little uphill. And there we go. Oh yeah, as I was saying, I, I am going to win this tournament. <laughs> oh. Oh, I almost hit one perfectly. Dang it. Still haven't hit one perfectly. Like, super flush. Oh no, the don't stand on... I wanted it to come off the slope. Ah, whatever, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Uh, that, that might actually help my trajectory with the driver here. Because, yeah, otherwise it would be kind of running in low, and that's kind of hard to control on such a smooth surface like a green. So, yeah, that's going to work out pretty nicely. I'm not going to get much backspin on it, but... It, it's enough to control it. So I'm gonna move the cursor a little bit over to the side and hope for the best. Wow, I just ran out of memory on my SD card. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm restarting the part from there. So here we go. <laughs> and oh my god, first shot after the restart. Perfection. Perfection. <laughs> That's my first perfect shot in the walkthrough. So maybe I just needed that a little break there. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, probably not. 
Anyway, oh, that was another good shot right there. Just gotta get it up to the green. I don't want it to roll out too far because that, yeah, that fr front edge there. I know the screen well. And... Yeah! <laughs> I hit it with a little bit more power because of the whole fringe that I was putting off of. But another birdie is mine. I, yeah, that's huge difference. <laughs> Alright, hole 15. It's raining. Uh, screen's still shaking. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do in the video settings a little bit later on. But for now, for now, let's just play with it as is because I am quick enough that we don't really notice it that much. <laughs> uh, I really want to make the green in two, so I'm going to risk losing a power shot here despite my poor timing. Mm, that's not bad, but I'm still going to lose a power shot. And just move off to the... Oh, it's a little long. Well, mm, that's okay, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to take a lower club, knock down its distance a bit, aim straight for the hole. That looks... Uh, that, and <laughs> you, know, you know I'm trying for the chip in here. Alright, here we go. Oh, and a little topspin. Come on, roll, 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 roll. <laughs> Alright, I'll take a par. <laughs> ah, there goes my streak. <laughs> uh, let's see, that looks like a good spot. I'm going to hit a little shorter than, a, than the cursor lies because I don't want to be on the slope. Um, well, oh, okay. Well, I... All right, that's carry distance. I'm being stupid again. Great. <laughs> um, let's see here. I think I can three wood it over there. Maybe. Might be. Mm, mm, I think it's going to get caught up in the rough. Yep. Especially with my poor timing not being able to carry the fairways. <laughs> Is that... Yeah, that's about... Uh, yeah, that seems right. I'm gonna try for a chip in. This time with a little backspin to control it a little bit, because it's gonna be high. Uh, oh, that was close. Very close. I think if I didn't have the backspin, it would have bounced over the hole. So, yeah. Anyway, a hole 17, par 3, which again, I have to use a driver on. And we're off to the races. Uh, oh, there goes my last power, but this is the 17th hole, so I'm sure I can make the last hole in uh, power or better, knowing that hole. And, 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 yeah. I wasn't sure if I had it too far to the left there for a second there, because I might have held down the D-pad a little too far on my tap. But, no, nah, I was okay. Anyway... Yeah, the last hole is a par 5, that's why I wasn't too worried about the the lack of a power there. So there we go. And let's put all of our... Oh jeez, why would you aim me over there? Why would you... <laughs> game, game, we get, you gotta work with me here a little bit. I don't really want to be too far to the left there in case of tree. And I also don't want to be on the slope, so I aimed for up there, which worked out nicely. And I'm gonna try and give myself a little more trajectory here, because it's on a plateau. And I want to make sure that I get up there with a nice soft landing spot, if at all possible. So... Ooh! ooh, ooh! <laughs> well then, uh... That's quite a finish to the tournament. <laughs> See, there's an eagle badge now. <laughs> See that E on number 18? Alright, I won! <laughs> With no trouble whatsoever, except on the early portions when I was getting used to the controls. And, well, I guess I could sort of even out the experience points a little bit. Mmm, like give some to her, give some to him. Hey, you can distribute it any which way that you please. Um, uh, eh, that's fine. <laughs> so once you get level ups, you can change your character's stats so thusly. Uh, early on, I'd recommend power. Just because you notice how difficult I had, I mean difficulties reaching things in regulation, so yeah. Uh, same things, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There we go. There we go. 
<laughs> oh, needless to say, my grandpa came down, as you've probably seen him pop out behind me. <laughs> but I am finishing off the part anyway soon, so yeah. All will be well. <laughs> so there's the first tournament of the game. Not not doubles or anything like that, though. But, you know, there is, there is other ways to play that tournament and other matches to play at said course, so... That will be a thing. <laughs> you know, for another time, is what I'm saying. <clears throat> so as you can see, you get all sorts of unlocks for the stuff designated and whatnot. You get some compliments. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's... It's apparently a big thing, but it's not that big of a thing. It's, it's pretty easy to do. <laughs> but anyway... I am going to end off the part here, because it's gone on long enough. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next parts. There's that sound. <laughs>